Okay, you can hear by the sound of the lathe that I've turned this up. I've turned the RPMs up to about uh, 475 RPMs. And you can see it's moving a lot faster, but it cuts a lot better. Even though my tools are sharp, since this is basswood, uh, it has a tendency to drag. It's not like a, a true hardwood. It's a hardwood, but it's still got that softness to it. Okay, since I don't have this gauge at this end of the center, like with these holes, I need to check with uh, my calipers to see what distance I am. I'm about a quarter inch here, which is what I want to follow all the way through. I don't want a real thin uh, piece here because as big as this is, we don't want it to be de that delicate. Um, it'll be light enough. And besides, what I'm going to be doing with this is burning or doing some pyrography on it. So I want it a little bit thicker than I would normally have something if it was to be a true piece of art that just sat there by itself. Um, but so at the outside, I have that much at this point right in here. So and I know that I have plenty of room to be able to start hogging down here.
Okay, I've got about three-eighths of an inch through here. So now uh, I'm going to try to bring it down to the quarter inch without breaking it. That's what I'm going to try to do. I've also switched over to the 5 8 just seems to be handling better, that's all. See at this point also I'm rubbing the bevel and then turning the chisel till it starts to cut. At this point I can't take a chance on getting a snag or anything. Very, very light cut. That should be down to where it should be, so I'm going to give it a real fine, fine cut here so I get rid of most of these lines. And I got rid of most of the lines. What's left, a little bit that's left can be sanded. And my checks are still here, so I'm gonna have to work on that uh, with some sawdust. When I get done sanding, I'll use some sawdust to clear those up. Sawdust and CA glue.